What's going on, Blurts, Nerds, and everybody in between? It's your boy Wyatt, the Sensei of the Syndicate. On day two of my 25 days of horror movies. Uh, so today, uh, we des I decided to, to watch Mama. Um, I, it came out in, like, I think, 2013. Essentially, the, the backstory is um, a husband is, he kills his wife. Um, and then takes the kids out to, to like the woods and they've been out there for like two years. So um, what's happened is the dad got killed by this mysterious, it's a ghost. Um, and so the ghost then protects the kids and um, some, some weird stuff goes on. Now I am going to uh, paraphrase my, my dear, dear friend, Sir, of the 2020 podcast LLC please say the LLC forget them kids them kids came out there looking like some Jabberwockies mixed with the wild, where the wild things are I left them I me personally I wouldn't have messed with them kids no more they was they were not right walking upright they they were crawling and they were like five and six so uh, my my whole thing was I, I I wasn't gonna mess with them, um, but you know, as they as the story progressed, they were talking about how you know the doctor who was trying to help them, he was on some BS too, no pun intended. He had uh, given the main character who who was actually Jamie from uh, Game of Thrones, he was his twin brother. So what they did was they gave him custody of the kids they gave him a house because he was just an artist and his girlfriend was uh, she she was in a band so they had no reason whatsoever to be raising kids at all N none at all so anyways these kids then this this ghost moved with the kids so with the kids being moved they they were just doing some crazy stuff like she was playing a uh, tug of war with the ghost. I, I'm, I'm probably double dutch, some other stuff. But um, it's really needed like little bells around their necks because they just kept popping up places for no apparent reason. Like they would turn around and then they'd be in there in the room with them, or they'd turn around and then they'd be, you know, right behind them and couldn't have anything you know no rhyme or reason and they just were laughing and smiling and chuckling um hence the reason why this is my least favorite genre of movie because they, they had lot, like a lot of those quote-unquote jump scares but um me personally if a kid come up out of nowhere for me they just getting chopped in the throat um no no questions asked I feel like uh, F Them Kids is very appropriate for this movie um, because there was one kid that, that just kept doing what she wanted to do and she didn't care about anybody else. So um, it was a little crazy. Um, now also at the start of the movie, um, the uncle who looks like their dad, um, he gets pushed off a banister by the ghost and is in a coma for most of the movie. And then the girlfriend still decides to, to keep raising the kids. That is very honorable. You can miss me with that BS as well. Because these kids was crawling, jumping around. No, no thank you. Give me some regular kids to try to raise. And that's hard enough. These kids are like fucking night crawlers. And they're just everywhere. So, um, in, in summarization of what I saw with Mama. Um, they need to call somebody else, like Ghostbusters, an exorcist. Um, I, I don't know who else to call, but uh, y'all definitely could have missed me with that one. Uh, I love my brother and my sister dearly, but they have some some crazy little kids. I, I'm sending them back, back to the woods in that cabin and they can just chill out there and I'll just throw them some peach or some um, some cherry pits and stuff like that. But you can miss me with that. So uh, that has been my five minute summarization of Mama. Uh, do 
do like we say, you know, be like the Hulk, smash that follow button, and we'll love you 3,000. And um, until tomorrow, we out.